What's up, folks? Welcome in Persona 3 Reload opening. So many requests to do it. We're going to do it. But hey, reminder, I don't know what's going on. I have no context. I'm super ignorant. I don't play the game. We're just, this channel is all about service level musical analysis. We talk about music, man. You can let me know what's going on in the video and why it's cool. I appreciate comments like that. Anyway, my name is Drummer Old Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch, musician, and music teacher living in Seattle. I'm excited to hear this. Let's go. What's going on here? Violence, blood, sexual themes, partial nudity, strong language on YouTube. Dang. The etude of the sequel in the wind. That's cool. Ooh. I like how they introduced that. She jumped out and turned into a coffin. That's intense. All right, we'll get to the verse in a second. Let's go back and talk about the uh, the groove that's being established at the top. I love this like little MP3 player. I don't know what time period this is all set in. Again, I don't know anything, but uh, that's cool though. I, the 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 change from it to the song. That's nice. It almost kind of has like a, an eight bit esque type of percussion going on, so it feels kind of throwback, and you get boom, pump, boom, pump, and the nice the little you know chord establishment here. It's groovy. But then, that's cool. I feel like it kind of has like almost like a, I don't know, keyboard organ type of just a little bit bluesy, a little, little feels kind of improv y right there. That's fun. I dig it. It's like a bubbly sound there, but then the bass has that do 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 dot descending line to come in there. Now it's like super keyboardy bass. I'm like half and half in that. Like you know, sometimes I'm like, oh man, it sounds funky. The other like times I'm like, yeah, it matches. This is one of those cases. It matches really well the tone of the bass. Mm. I like that. We get a little different use of strings there with the way the chords are functioning in the background and then the obvious bunch, gunk, gunk, little pizzicato. Pizzicato, well, these are all keyboard synth sounds, by the way. These are not real strings. Uh, pizzicato is where we're, we're simulating here that we're not playing with the bow and you're just plucking the strings. It's nice, though, right? It's nice and light. It's like it's like diet strings, you know? It's, it's a low-calorie string sound. Here. And then, of course... to that in a second let's go back and talk about the verse man anytime i see stuff on a train i'm just like jujitsu guys in the first opening i get like whatever we don't need to talk about that uh okay all the stuff that's going on for fans they're probably looking at characters and be like oh i know that i know that i don't have any context bias i have no clue what i'm looking at i'm just listening i dig the vibrato and the voice so it fits like the voice is not mixed super loud it's on top but it just it's flowing with a groove so well and there's just some like it's it's nice it's chill and crazy how time flies Time flies. That's I'm, I'm not a vocalist. I can't do it, but it sounds good. You know what I'm talking about? Again, crazy how time flies. The when other part that I really dig is we're coming out of the... We got to get the, the transition again because the groove changes so much. We have all these little stop stop time rhythms in it that make it... Uh, it gives us a very different rhythmic texture within how the groove is being given to us. Right here. Again, crazy how time flies. Ba-ba-ti-ta. That's cool because we're coming out of in the beginning. So it's nice to get something where even though the chord progression is the same, like tonally speaking, harmonically speaking, we're all the same from the beginning. But this is such like an easy little adjustment that it really makes the verse feel like you're going somewhere else. So I appreciate that. Yeah, and the synth bass has more texture to it, more of a round tone versus kind of the, the angled nasally sound that we were getting on the, uh, the the bass part in the beginning. All right, now where do we go here? Same. 
with boom ba, ink uh, a cool like just like little synth sounds there i like it when the b side of the verse sounds different i mean it's the same structurally but we just add little embellishments that make it have another characteristic that's important to me right here but i do believe things come to I like that. the accident when you remains on sounds like it's man that's the next voice part okay hold on Let me go to the chorus. Okay. Uh, yeah, this section, what, what, what do we call this? Like the pre-chorus here, I guess. Um, it kind of has, this is a little har a harder of a sell for me. Now, again, I don't have any context bias, right? I have no connection to the game. So maybe y'all don't care. For me, it's a little bit, it's a little bit cheese factor. It feels like it's 1999. I, I always use this example when I hear something like this. I'm like in the theater, Limp Biscuit is in the credits of the movie, and I'm like, yeah, bro, like Mission Impossible is sick. And uh, anytime you have the like, I don't know what you want to call this, like it's not hip hop, it's not rap, it's like spoken like the the guitar, like the distorted guitar comes in, and it's like this like almost like poetic feeling, and you got the responses, the, the it's the it's the responses that are hard, the hard part. For me. <laughs> But uh, on the, yeah, the, oh, yeah, it's a little bit weird for me. It's cool though. Again, I have no context bias. I'm merely talking about the music as an ignorant outsider. I dig the ba -da -dun -da -da -dun. the brass stuff, the little the little callbacks there. That's cool. This, this I'll, I'll let it go this time. We'll get into the chorus. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, that's cool. We're going to go back, obviously, and listen to uh, the chorus again and kind of talk about the things that are in there. It's cool. It's 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 popping with some turnarounds. I dig it. I like the bass player just camps out in the root, but it drives. So we really drive ahead. Hold on. Let me get back to where I think this is. I'm, I'm all turned around here. I think we need to be like right about right here. So percussion feels very different. Even though the groove is kind of uh, similar to what we had in the beginning, it doesn't have that like 8-bit sound anymore. Primarily, probably because we have our distorted guitars. It's We're, you know, kind of just crunking out here on this like pop kind of chord progression. Bass player is digging in with the roots. And the the vocal line up top in the melody kind of goes where you think it would go. It's the, the 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 responses, the male voice, the responses that kind of like pull me back to this other reality of like, oh, whoa, what's actually happening here? Let me just rewind a couple more seconds and grab that again. Hey, no ooh, sorry. Ooh, I didn't even notice the ooh, uh, choir background stuff. Okay, that's cool. I, did, I, I like that texture. And the piano's in there too. It's, it feels different than the other parts. Hey, no There, dude. I love how the progression goes harmonically right there. That's cool. I don't know what dude is saying. It sounds like he dropped some F-bombs a couple times. He's probably pissed off about something. I don't know. Maybe the fact that he got to sing in this song. I have no clue. You can let me know. I like the transition there that sets it off to the back side of the, the chorus here. That's very cool. Almost feels kind of bridge like, which, which, you know, it's cool. Those are the equations that, you know, those are the skills that pay the bills. That's why, you know, that's why the masses dig it. Other obvious.
obvious part that I'm sure everyone notices is the kind of the shape of the melody. Bum, 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 dun, 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 bum, bum, dun, long note and movement, movement. Bum, 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 dun. It's cool. We get very symmetrical. It's easy to latch on. You can hear it once. You're going to sing it back the next time. The only thing you need to do is learn the lyrics. That's why material like this is so singable. That's why you can memorize stuff so quickly because it's not an accident. None of, none of that stuff is happening like, oh, maybe this will work. No, it definitely works, dude. And it has worked and that's why it's working. Stop. It's kind of symmetrical, so now we have kind of bookends with the percussion here versus the percussion we had in the beginning. That's you can you can right there you can hear how different it was. Uh, I like it. This whole thing was cool. I think the whole thing is to finish it out officially. This time, yeah. Oh, I didn't hear those guitar lines the first time. Cool, a little bit of guitar in that mix too. The mix is fun. Uh, yeah, it's cool. I think the the male voice just takes it um from being like. Pretty cool to just a little bit, a little bit of like, I don't know, you serve some cheese on the side. That's just me though. It doesn't matter. That's just, remember, I have no context bias. I'm just listening objectively as a first time and that's just where I'm going with it. So uh, let me know what you think about it though in the comments down below, please. And thank you. My name is Drumroll Tony. Catch me when I'm live on Twitch. Link for all the socials down in the video description below. Please and thank you. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next one. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. All right, take it easy. Bye-bye.